This video looks at how to find the mean and standard deviation from our new Casio calculator, the FX83GT+. Before we do anything on our calculator, it's always advisable to reset your calculator. So in order to do that, we are coming to the shift key on your calculator. So we're going to press the shift key. Then we press the nine button and then follow the online instructions. I'm going to press one for setup. So I'm trying to delete all of the setup and I hit yes and then I hit AC for confirmation. So I've now basically deleted anything that has been pre-saved on my calculator. Over here is the list of numbers that I'm going to find the mean and standard deviation on my calculator on. So the number 600, 470, 170, 430 and 300. I've listed out the step by step here uh, on what you have to do on your calculator, but let's come over and do it manually so we can follow it uh, by the video as well. So first thing I need to do on my calculator is hit the menu key. So the menu key is the little one here to the left of the on button. So I'm going to press my menu key. I'm then going to press on two for statistics. So you can see the histogram. That's kind of the giveaway um, as to know which uh, key to press there. So I'm going to come down here and press two for statistics. I then want to select one variable because I'm putting in a list of values. So I'm going to press the one key now. Up comes a table and I now need to input the data onto that table. So the list of numbers, as we said, is over here to the left, these five uh, numbers. So the first number I'm going to key in is 600. So I press the 600 on my calculator. I now have to press the equals key. You have to press the equals in order for that number to appear in your table. I now key in the 470 and once again, hit your equals key. I now put in 170 hit your equals 430 equals and finally my fifth number is 300 hit your equals to input that number so i'm now coming down here to my ac i need to click on the ac button in order to save that data on my calculator uh, your screen should then go blank as it appears on mine saying statistics one variable I now want to ret retrieve my mean and standard deviation. So I need to click on the OPTN, the option button here. So I'm going to click on option and up comes three selections. I need to click on two, one variable calculation. So this is going to retrieve my information. So I'm coming down and clicking two on my calculator and your screen now will display maybe six pieces of information here. Two of them are important to us. The first one, the X bar, represents the mean. So the mean for this list of numbers is 394. And the standard deviation is the sigma symbol here, sigma x. And my standard deviation is 147. So the mean is the first one. And the final one is, or sorry, the second last one is your standard deviation. And that is how to find the standard deviation and the mean on the new Casio calculator. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.